There are numerous things that make our planet more unique than others. The easiest thing is that we have living things in our world that help us define how diverse we are, but it's a bit more nuanced than that. You see, our planet also has a variety of materials that you won't find anywhere else, or at least not with a whole bunch of other materials that you'll also likely not find on other planets. Some of these materials and elements you might not know about, but others are a bit more rare, and some of them have properties that might just blow your mind. So with that in mind, here now are the 20 strangest and coolest materials which actually exist. Number 20. Vanta Black This is the darkest material on Earth, but what exactly does that mean? Isn't black just, well, black? Well, not quite, you see, because while white and black are often seen as one color, without any exceptions, you can clearly tell when other shades of black or white are being used. For example, if you have a black shirt on right now, it may not be the same shade of black that you see in someone's hair or something that's been painted black. There are levels to black just like any other color. The trick with Vanta Black is that this material was created to be the blackest of black in the most scientific sense. Into this reactor here that uses light to grow the blackest material. But what do I mean by that? Well, light, no matter the source, is always going to affect colors by reflecting off of them and then shining through. However, with Vanta Black, it doesn't reflect the light, it absorbs it. Thus, if you look at something that's covered in Vanta Black, as you're seeing here, you're looking at what would be likely known as a black void. It'll even look fake in certain cases because the Vanta Black is just so powerful within its light absorption that it could actually turn a 3D object into a 2D object based solely on your eye's perception of it since the light isn't showing the layers to the object in question. It was originally developed for satellite-borne black body calibration systems but due to limitations in how it was manufactured, it's been surpassed by other spray-applied Vanta Black coatings. Why would someone want something covered in Vanta Black? Well, the material is incredibly resistant to the heat, the cold, electricity, and even vibrations, which means that things like degrading paint quality is not going to apply here because the coating will resist it. Plus, could you just imagine having a bunch of things covered in the stuff? The intimidation level would be off the charts, and that alone would be quite hilarious to see. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Ultra Hydrophobic Materials Water is, by and large, one of the most important materials on planet Earth because without it, we don't really exist, and that's a fact. But the irony is that while we do need water to survive, there are other things that we desperately don't want water on, or else it's going to ruin them. The best example in our world today is electronics. If you were to get something like a computer, a television, your phone, or any other sensitive electronic device wet, it's going to short circuit and then you'll likely have to get a new device. Now, on the other hand, you could simply try to avoid these things getting wet, but accidents do happen, and some electrical devices need to be in the path of water sometimes to do their job. That's why things like ultra-hydrophobic materials are being developed, and have been developed, to combat the effects of water on some of these items. To be ultra-hydrophobic, also known as super-hydrophobic, means to be able to naturally repel water in such a way that even something that's drenched in it will remain dry. For example, there are certain types of shoes that are super-hydrophobic, so that runners' feet can stay dry even when they're in the rain or splashing through a puddle. It is very effective. But some people have taken it to the next level. We have an 11 that was untreated and we have that puddling happening or that wetting of the surface. And they've made it so that these ultra hydrophobic materials are actually nanomaterials, which will allow the water to roll off of them like the leaves of a lotus plant. Now I'm not being poetic here. Scientists actually look at natural sources of hydrophobic resistance like birds and the lotus plant and have worked their materials in such a way to mimic what those things do and they've had some great results. And while we're not living in a world full of these materials just yet, 
we are getting closer and it could help a whole lot of people and businesses when that time comes. Number 18. Nitrogen Triodide Explosives are incredibly dangerous, as various current world events will happily highlight, and I'm not here to rationalize those most dangerous kinds of them. However, there are levels to explosives, and many types of them are used in various working fields today in order to help and ensure productivity and speed up certain processes. And what makes nitrogen triodide enter the list is that it's an explosive that is just a little bit, well, sensitive. Not emotionally sensitive, though that would be hilarious. I'm talking about how this explosive is detonated. Any touch will cause it to explode. Typically, you're going to need an agent of some kind to set an explosive off. A blasting cap, a fuse, or even a sharp and heavy impact will do it, depending on the explosive material in question. But with nitrogen triodide, it's composed in such a way that it honestly doesn't take a whole lot to explode. That is both a very cool thing and a bad thing. Cool because it can be used to do some very nice presentations in things like chemistry class in order to frighten students, but it's also something that can't be transported in a large quantity because it would quite literally blow up at even the slightest disturbance. Now I'm not kidding, the thing is so sensitive, it can actually be detonated by the touch of a feather, which is really super sensitive, and thus not so practical in various construction fields. But arguably the coolest thing about it is that when it does explode, it does it with a purple color. You don't see that with things like dynamite or C4. Number 17. Hydrogels I've already told you about one water product that can resist water at a high level, but now I'm going to talk about something that absorbs water at a high level and then uses that to do some good in the world. This material is known as hydrogel. A hydrogel is a water-based substance with a soft consistency and moisturizing properties, making it a valuable tool for promoting wound care. Now, if you want me to be even more specific, hydrogel is a 3D network of hydrophilic polymer material that quickly absorbs and retains water and then uses that for certain purposes, like with healing wounds. But it can do so much more than that, for example, are you watching this video while wearing a contact lens? Because if so, you're wearing hydrogel right now, as they're used for helping to make your contacts. Another popular place where hydrogels are used are in hygiene products. Their properties will actually help to remove certain liquids that can come into contact with your body so that they stay away from the skin, and by doing so, it can keep the skin dry in the proper way and thus prevent something like a rash from forming. That's why hydrogels are used in things like baby diapers. Their soft consistency, porosity, and high water content are very similar to natural living body tissue, and that makes them a critical component in general medical applications. They can not only help to heal wounds, but also make a person more comfortable while they're being healed, and that makes them a godsend for things like chickenpox and shingles victims, as those medical issues put them in constant pain and unrest. So the next time you need a wound treated, you might want to see if it makes you feel good after you put the dressing on, because if it does, you're probably in contact with a hydrogel. Number 16. Nitinol. Unsurprisingly, metals are something that mankind has tinkered with many times over the ages to try and get not only the hardest of substances to build with, like steel or titanium, but it also creates specific kinds of metals to use in specific cases. Nitinol is one such metal. It's one that's a mixture of nickel and titanium, and its uses are numerous. For example, unlike many other metals out there, nitinol is one that you can very easily bend due to how super elastic it is. But why is that a good thing? Well, not unlike hydrogels, they can be used for various medical procedures. Nitinol super elastic procedures allow medical devices that use it to compress to a lower profile when being placed in a patient using a catheter. Implants made of nitinol, such as heart valves, will expand to their intended size and then shape at the site of implantation and remain inside of the patient. And so that makes it very useful, but that's not the only property that helps it to stand out. Nitinol has an ability called shape memory, which means that it can be bent as much as you want so long as you put it under the correct amount of pressure. But then, if you were to release that pressure by heating it up, it will eventually return to its original form. If you dip it in hot tea or hot water, it will bend. 
Doctors use that property to allow natural heat of the body to grow the nitinol inside the patient to a certain size in order to assist them with their condition. Thanks to these properties, you'll find nitinol in several medical fields. They even use it in dentistry, believe it or not, further proving that sometimes tinkering with metals can actually lead to really great results. Number 15. Gallium. Here's another metal that was discovered due to some tinkering. I mean that literally, because while gallium is a substance that we have in our world today in many places, which includes the electronic device you're watching this video on, it is not an element that's naturally found in the world. So in my hand, I have liquid gallium, and it turns to a liquid at the temperature of your body. It's on the periodic table, but it's not something that you can just naturally find. Instead, it's known as a chemical element, as gallium compounds in trace amounts are found in many zinc ores and other places. And what makes gallium so unique is that it has a very low melting point, which is odd for some because most metals like iron, steel, and titanium are actually revered for their high melting points. You need something like a forge to get them to bend to your will. But with gallium, all you need is a decently high temperature and they'll go from a solid to a liquid. And if you don't believe me, well, if I were to give you a block of gallium and then asked you to cup that gallium in your hands, it would actually melt in your hands without any external interference over time. That's how sensitive it is to heat in its natural state. But while that might make it seem like a weak element, it's used in electronics all the time to help certain things like semiconductors function. It's also something you're going to find in thermometers so that mercury isn't used. And it's so popular and valuable that it's actually been dubbed a technology critical element by certain groups. Number 14, Aerogel. Given that I've already talked about hydrogels, I'm pretty sure that you can fathom a guess as to what an aerogel is, but maybe not. So I'm going to show you some right now, and you'll very easily notice that all of these things are solid objects. So no, the aero in aerogel does not mean that it holds a lot of air, because it's a bit more complicated than that. Any material that is defined as an aerogel is something that has an incredibly low density and is rather porous. The lightest of solid things that man has ever made are aerogels, and we can prove it. There was a silica aerogel that was produced that was only three times heavier than air and could be made lighter than air by evacuating the air out of the pores. So yes, they did actually make something that was only slightly heavier than air, and then they took out the air and made it even lighter. <laughs> Why can't I make it ring? Even Air Jordan couldn't do that. It's a really weird substance, no matter what the shape or form that you make it, but that in and of itself is what makes it special. You can tinker with it so that it does what you want, or you want it to be. Aerogels have been combined with batting to create insulating blankets, as well as filled in between panes of glass to create translucent panels for daylighting applications. NASA has even used aerogels to help keep their rocket fuels at certain temperatures. And so, it may be light and look odd, but it definitely has its issues, and people are definitely making use out of them. Number 13. Magnetic Thinking Putty Depending on how old you are, this is a material that you might have owned yourself. The Magnetic Thinking Putty was a fun toy that some children got in order to highlight just how interesting science could be, though I doubt they actually cared about the science bit given what the putty could do. Specifically, it could harness the power of magnetic particles, and thus, if you put a magnet next to this putty, the putty would reach out and try to touch the magnet. If you think about it from a child's perspective, from their viewpoint, it would look as though the putty was alive, and it does give out a lifelike dance of sorts as it tries to make its way to the magnet. Plus, if you put that magnet next to the putty for long enough, it would eventually be able to become a type of magnet itself and attract other kind of metal objects. There are many people out there who don't think that science is fun, and yet here we are, with science making easily one of the coolest toys ever. And because it's a putty, you could shape it in various ways, to further exaggerate the effects that it would have when the magnet gets close to it. The lesson here is don't make fun of science, or you're not going to get some of the coolest things ever. You have been warned. Number 12. Dwyen Polyurea Spray Sprays as a whole are something that we see all the time in our world. The chemical makeup of sprays not only determine what they do, but what field that they're used in. For example, we all know about hairsprays, which can help to change colors or help your hair to stay in place when you're trying to do a certain hairdo. But in the construction field, something like this spray can be used to help insulate a building 
and then ensure that it lasts a long time against certain kinds of weather. In the case of these kinds of sprays, they're applied in many areas, such as construction and the aviation sector, providing excellent hydro insulation in buildings and on the grounds that they're built on. It's a very suitable thing for hydro insulation of bridges, tunnels, pools, and pipelines. And besides waterproofing, it can be used for industrial floorings and coatings. Insulation is easily one of the backbones of construction today, and this particular spray can do it very well while also being very easy to apply. It's so thin, in fact, that you won't even know it's there when the job is done, and it only takes one person to spray it in a good consistency, and it will cure in a matter of minutes. Plus, it's so durable that it can last for decades once it's applied. Hopefully, you can see why the spray is so useful to so many when they're doing something like construction. Number 11. Ayurvastra Apparel The art of trying to heal people is something that has taken many forms over a millennia, and not exactly in a positive way. People have been making all sorts of claims of what will cure what ails you, and we're still getting some of those snake oil claims to this day. Just watch Shark Tank if you don't believe me. But in the case of this particular apparel, it may be a rare case of where it's too good to be true can actually be backed up with science. Specifically, this line of medicinal clothing is constructed with natural herbs and other plants in order to give it a kind of healing property. And more specifically, the garments are made from organic cotton that's been dyed in 20 to 60 herb plants, flowers, roots, and barks in order to achieve a natural color with healing properties. Now, before you go crying out snake oil, it should be noted that this technique has been used in India for quite some time, and they swear that it's the real deal. Plus, it should also be said that plants and herbs do have medicinal properties when applied properly. So in theory, it could be for real, and they even admit that the healing properties do fade over time, but that's why they would be used as medicinal clothing, as they can be worn in places like hospitals when you're being treated, and thus you're being healed by simply wearing clothing. After the experiment, very effective and skin disease. And you do have to admit that if it's for real, it could be a game changer in the medicinal world. Number 10. Non-Newtonian Fluid Here's one that's not only scientifically proven, you may just have one of these right next to you and not realize it. A non-Newtonian fluid is an element that doesn't follow Newton's law of viscosity, and that means that depending on the stress and circumstances you place it under, it can actually act either as a solid or a liquid. For example, ketchup is a non-Newtonian fluid because it can be rather solid when you put it onto a plate, but it can be poured out like a liquid as well. That is an example of a sheer thickening liquid because it gets thicker when we apply The Mythbusters actually showcase this best during their first Ninja special. Jamie Heineman made a non-Newtonian fluid which allowed Adam Savage to run across it as though it were solid, even though it's shifting around under his weight like liquid. And then when Adam stopped running on the substance, he sunk like a stone. Number 9. Thermochromic Paint have you ever seen an object that literally changed its colors right before your eyes? There are many reasons that might have done this, but if it was a man-made object, then thermochromic paint was likely the answer to what you saw. The paint in question was composed in such a way that if the temperature changes to a certain degree, whether it be a high one or a low one, it's going to change its colors. And why would that be useful in the world? Well, imagine a vehicle that's been out in the sun all day in Arizona. You instinctively want to touch it for one reason or another, but because of that paint, the car's changed colors to let you know that its body is really, really hot. As if you didn't already know, because, I mean, it's Arizona and all, you have common sense, but then again, I didn't write this script. So yeah, while it was a novelty item originally, it's been turned into quite the practical substance. Number 8. Super Glue now, you knew that something like super glue would be on the list. This is a wonder of engineering because of just how insanely powerful it is. The adhesive qualities of super glue, or whatever name that you prefer to call it, are so strong and long lasting that it can do incredible feats that truly boggle the mind. Remember those stories of rock stars gluing everything to the roof of the hotel room they were in? Well, that was crazy glue. The Mythbusters even proved that it could lift up a car by gluing together two pieces of metal to do that with just six drops. So yeah, the stuff is crazy good, but it should be used wisely. Number 7. Shimmer Inks 
For those of you who want something a bit more artistic, I have you covered, as shimmer inks are a very unique and cool material that you'll want to try out for yourself simply because of how cool that they look. Shimmer inks are those that have small glitter particles added into the ink, and to be clear, it's not something you're going to find in other inks that have a shinier color. As you can see here, these inks have different colors within them that as you lay them out. It's not really difficult to see why people would like this, as it gives them a very unique kind of ink to work with as they paint or try to color something. Plus, there are people who sell a wide array of shimmer inks so that you can find the style that you desire. I mean, art and science, who knew? Number 6. Bioplastics Anyone who's paid attention to our world knows that we're not exactly doing well on the don't pollute the planet front, and regular plastics are a huge reason for that. They may be a nice and convenient material for people to use and make various things, but they're not biodegradable, and so they are polluting the planet at a fast rate. Bioplastics may be a way to change that. These are ones that are made from vegetable fats and oils, cornstarch, straw, wood chips, sawdust, recycled food waste, and more. In other words, they are natural products that make a kind of plastic. Thus, they could be recycled rather easily and not end up polluting the planet. There's a debate as to whether they're actually biodegradable, as there are many factors that go into the process. An electronic sheet that is 10 times thinner than plastic kitchen wrap. However, many would agree that this could be the future of plastics, and hopefully it's a much brighter future at that. Number 5. Gradient Index Optics Now, this one is a little bit complicated, so I'm just going to be a little bare bones so that I don't lose you or my own brain cells. What Gradient Index Optics really boils down to is the ability to craft lenses that don't need to be curved to work. Previously, curved lenses were the only way to get certain gradients to appear in something like a photocopier. However, with advances in gradient index optics, they've learned how to make a lens that is entirely flat and yet delivers the same gradient that's needed. Why does any of this matter? And what does it all mean? Well, who knows? Flat surfaces are much easier to install than curved ones, especially when you're dealing with very small lenses that need to go into something like a copier. So in this case, they've actually found a very flat solution, and it wasn't a bad thing. Number 4. Ferrofluid. We probably need a little bit of a cleanser after that last one, so allow me to show you something really cool via ferrofluid. To put it simply, ferrofluid is a kind of magnetic liquid, and because of that, how it reacts to magnets will be one of the coolest things that you see all day. As you can see in this video, through a very simple setup, the ferrofluid is able to react to a magnet in a way that's honestly rather artistic and further proof that science is fun. You can manipulate the ferrofluid via the magnet or have it go down certain shapes with elegant grace as it tries to reach the magnetic pull. Either way, it's a very cool thing in the end. Number 3. Sulfur Hexafluoride Now I could tell you the very logical and scientific reason for sulfur hexafluoride, how it's used in our world today and how people benefit from it, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going back to Mythbusters for one of their most iconic experiments that you should absolutely not try at home. You see, they were testing a myth of invisible water, and they realized that the video clip they were watching wasn't about invisible water, but a really heavy gas. Sulfur hexafluoride is six times heavier than air, so you can put it in a fish tank and it'll float something if it's light enough without you ever actually seeing the gas. That's not the cool part that I want to talk about, though. Instead, I'm talking about how if you inhale sulfur hexafluoride, it's going to make your voice sound much lower and downright demonic. It's hilarious, but please don't try it at home. Number 2. Hot Ice Now for something that you can do at home, and all you need is some white vinegar and baking soda, alongside something to heat them up with. After doing the proper procedure, be sure to look it up before you try it, you're going to get a chemical reaction that will look a lot like ice and even crystallize when you pour it out onto a surface. But instead, you're actually looking at exothermic reactions that are literally hot to the touch. It is not ice, it just looks that way, but to the untrained eye, you have literally made hot ice, which is pretty cool. I don't understand it either, I just work here. Number 1. Plutonium 
Plutonium is named after the planet in our solar system, and it's something that doesn't have a good reputation for fairly understandable reasons. For example, the substance is used in both nuclear power plants and nuclear weapons, and there's no way of getting around that. Plus, the Libyans were after it in Back to the Future, which set that whole debacle off in motion. However, other versions of the substance have been used for more healthy and scientific things. For example, there are some pacemakers that are powered by plutonium, and NASA has been using the substance for decades. In fact, when they launched a probe into deep space, they used plutonium to power it and ensure that the power source doesn't run out for a good amount of time. So yes, it can be used for some bad things, but it can also be used for very good things, and we should all be respecting that as well as Pluto. That's all from the realm of materials that exist and have really unique properties that are attached to them. Which of these materials did you learn about for the first time today? And which of them impressed you the most? Perhaps you know of another material that's cool enough to be on this list. Go ahead and let me know all about it in the comments section down below. You should also be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on your screen, and I will see you next time.